In question 10, we're told figure 1 shows a sketch of the curve C with equation y equals f of x, where f of x is equal to x squared multiplied by 9 minus 2x. There's a minimum at the origin, a maximum at the point 3, 27, and C cuts the x-axis at the point A. In part A, we're asked to write down the coordinates of the point A. The question carries one mark. Y will be equal to 0 when the curve meets or crosses the x-axis. So 0 will be equal to x squared multiplied by the 9 minus 2x. This tells me that x would be equal to 0, which corresponds to the origin and this repeated root, or we'd have x is equal to 9 over 2. Therefore, we can state now that a will have the coordinates 9 over 2, comma, 0. So one mark for writing down the coordinates of the point a. In part B, it says on separate diagrams, sketch the curve with equation 1, y equals f of x plus 3, 2, y is equal to f of 3x. On each sketch, you should indicate clearly the coordinates of the maximum point and any points where the curves cross or meet the coordinate axis. The question carries six marks. So let's start with the first part. This is simply now a horizontal translation. So we've got now a vector of minus 3, 0. We're moving the graph to the left by 3 units. Or, if you like, we're simply subtracting 3 from each of the x coordinates. So if we go ahead and do that, we can just plot the graph. There's no alteration in the y coordinates and no alteration in the shape of the curve. So if we consider we've gone from the origin, we need to subtract 3, which is going to give me now minus 3, 0. I've gone from A, which is 9 over 2, and I've moved to the left by 3. 4.5 minus 3 is 1.5, so I'm going to have the point here, which is going to be 3 over 2, comma, 0. If we now consider the maximum, we've moved this to the left 3, or, if you like, subtracted 3 from the x-coordinate, so we're going to have the point here, 0, comma, 27. All we need to do now is just draw a quick sketch, no alteration in the shape, repeated root at minus 3, 0. We've got our maximum at 0, 27. And we've got the point of intersection with the x-axis at 3 over 2, 0. So I can just label this up. y is equal to the f of x plus 3. So that's the first part done. In the second part, we need to do f of 3x. For this part, we're going to divide the x-coordinates by 3. So we're going to have now a scale factor stretch of one third in the x direction. So divide x by 3. So if we consider what we've got, we've got the points 0, 0. We've got the point 3, 27. And we've got the point 9 over 2, 0. If we think about this one right here, all we're doing is dividing the x coordinates by 3. So that will be 0, 0. This will become 1, 27, and this now, dividing this one by 3, we're going to have 3 over 2, 0. We need to show that this is now being squashed towards the y-axis. So a quick sketch now, just drawing it down here. I've stated that this now is, and we could say that this is a scale factor stretch of 1 third in the x direction, which I'll put just here, SF 1 third in x. So we have the points now. We've got 1, 27, which is going to be just here. We've got 0, 0, which is the origin. And then we've got the 3 over 2, 0, which is just there. So what I'm going to do is redraw this. We're going to have the repeated root at the origin. It will look something like so. We will come up to the maximum, turn around to the point just here. So we can put on 1, 27. We can have 0, 0 and we can have 3 over 2, comma, 0. So all I've done is show now a scale factor stretch of 1 third in the x direction. We're now told the curve with equation y equals f of x plus k, where k is a constant, has a maximum point at 3, comma, 10. In part c, we're asked to write down the value of k. If we just look at the f of x, this is simply now a vertical translation, and we can state that that vertical translation will be 0 minus k. So we're moving downwards by 
k units. If we think about this now, we've got this maximum point at 3, 27. So I would have needed to subtract 17 to get to 10. Therefore, we can state that k will be equal to minus 17. We simply pick this graph up and we've moved it down by the 10 uh, to the point 3, 10, which means we've moved it downwards by 17 units. So k will be minus 17.